Hello, welcome back. It's still the 13th of September. And uh, where I want to show you is not going to be open for another 25 minutes. So I figured I'd take this time. These are some horses. Some horses' asses uh, that I ran into. There's the horse's ass right there. That is the famous horse's ass. And these are two horses. And they seem to be getting along just fine. And there's some more horses over here. So I've got about 20 minutes or so to kill. So I figured I'd, uh, I'd give you some items of interest that happened on this day. I want to correct myself too. Previously, I said we lost the king. We lost the queen, not the king. The king's taken over for the queen. The queen has uh, passed away, so I want to uh, correct it. Wasn't uh, there's the horse's ass again? If you can see that, that is two horses' asses. So you don't often get to see a, a horse's ass. We call people horses' asses all the time. We see horses' asses driving cars. Uh, we see a lot of horse horses asses at work in our daily uh, job. I think that's why a lot of people don't want to go back to work. They've had it up with co-workers and horses asses. Oh, is he coming over here? Look at him. He looks like he's coming right at me. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to eat something out of there. Some cat litter. Don't stand behind a horse. There he is. All right, let's do some items of interest very quickly. It's the same old thing, September 13th, this day in history. Uh, in 1515, the Swiss mercenaries uh, attacked the French positions near Marengo, M-A-R-I-G-N-A-O. And uh, uh, the next day they were defeated by the French and Italian troops. And that was when Switzerland decided that they were gonna be neutral and they were going to stick to making cheese and and clocks and uh, high-tech medical uh, instruments and uh, they're going to concentrate on banks and uh, all sorts of fun stuff and they were not going to get involved after getting their asses kicked by the Italians and the French. They said that they were going to stop this... Uh, this losing war thing. So in 1515, the Swiss decided that they were going to be neutral and have been ever since. 1759, the British forces defeated the French in the Battle of Quebec. Now, I don't know if that's Quebec, uh, Canada, or, or where it could be, you know. Your guess is as good as mine. 1759, British forces defeated the French in the Battle of Quebec. Wow. So, uh, take it or leave it. 18... F Whoa, geez, what is he doing? He's running around like a horse's ass. Um, in 1848, this is a real interesting item of interest. You can uh, Google this. I think I'm going to Google it when I get a chance if I don't destroy the paper. 1840... Uh, 1848... Uh, American railroad foreman, Fenice Gage. His first name is P-H-I-N-E-A-S. And his last name is Gage, G-A-G-E. Finesse Gage. And uh, his left frontal lobe was completely destroyed by an iron rod. Everybody knows back in uh, 1848, working on the railroad was quite a dangerous endeavor. And a lot of people in town, you could tell that they were railroad workers because they had missing digits on each hand. Some of them had limps. Uh, some of them had missing uh, arms and, and legs. Some of them had smashed faces. And this is an example, this gentleman is famous for a metal rod going right through his left frontal lobe. And he survived with little or no uh, paralysis, although they said his personality had changed. You bet it changed. 
Now I forget which the uh, left frontal lobe is. Uh, some of them is some part of it is emotion and part of it is thinking, or coordination. Who knows? But I had a. Fr I knew a guy when I worked in the brake shop up north. This is the one that likes to run around. What are you gonna run? He's a runner. He's a runner. And uh, he he hit his head. You gotta watch out for people who hit their heads. They're never the same. This guy used to talk about how everything has got ketchup on it. Everything has got ketchup. I'm sick and tired of ketchup. We put it on the French fries. We put it on the hamburgers. We put it on the hot dogs. We put it here. We put it there. We put it everywhere. So evidently, this head injury made him revolt against ketchup. So uh, watch out for people who have been hit in the head. Sometimes their personality will change. So uh, Google that. I didn't even count these horses. One, two, three. Let me pet this horse. That's a good horse. It's a good, good horse. Son of a... Uh, one, two, three, four. That one looks like it's on an Atkins diet. Look at the ribs. You can count the ribs on that horse over there. This could be a horse rescue. Where's Stacy Cash when you need him? Uh... Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five against the wall. Uh, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight horses here in various stages of uh, health. So uh, yeah, this guy got hit with a metal iron rod. Not a metal rod, an iron rod. And it went right through his skull, destroyed the left frontal lobe, and he had no paralysis. And there's a picture of him too. And, uh, but people say that his friends uh, said that he, his personality changed. He refused to lift the seat when he urinated. Uh, he would take shreds of glass in public restrooms and, and, and carve his initials in the top of the toilet seat and on the mirrors. He would uh, smash the, the uh, every, anytime he used a public restroom, he had to smash or break something. And they contributed that to the, uh, the iron rod that went through his brain, or his skull. But he's lucky to be alive. Oh, this one's coming back for some more over here. Yeah, he, 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 uh, but he liked ketchup, so. Uh, 1971, Attica ended, the uh, most famous jail riot in the United States history, uh, modern history at, at that. Uh, 29 inmates were killed and 10 hostages were killed. So those were the days when they just came in and uh, they did the right thing. In the previous presentation, I was talking about uh, they want to put netting on the Golden Gate Bridge to keep people from jumping off. Is that where we're headed now? We're going to child-proof the whole world or the whole country? You know, if somebody wants to off themselves, they're going to do it. And if you, if you put up a net, it's not going to stop them. What time is it now? About oh, 20, quarter two. So 1971, Attica ended. 1990, uh, Law & Order uh, debuted on NBC, the national broadcasting uh, channel. And it's uh, one of the longest running primetime television shows. America can't get enough of crime, they love crime and murder mysteries and and uh, and uh, CSI type things, and they loved it. They loved the Sopranos. They couldn't get enough of Sopranos. When the Sopranos went off the air, people were jumping off buildings. I mean, they just love crime. They love bad guys, and it's just uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, I guess it's it's it beats watching the Animal Planet, which, what with what's what's going on right now. And uh, so that was that. So uh, that's nine minutes of me jarring. I better, uh, I better knock it off. Uh. So yeah, God, uh, God bless, uh, God speed to the queen. I've got a new king now, King Charles the Third. I believe it's going to be his official title. And uh, I used to work with a woman who used to put the makeup on uh, cadavers, you know, uh, the woman who puts uh, makeup on people in funeral parlors. 
And she says, you don't call it a coffin, it's called a casket. And I was very surprised to hear the news because uh, the queen's casket is traveling all over uh, Scotland and then it's gonna go, it's, it's like on tour. It's like, uh, it's going everywhere. It's making stops everywhere so people can pay their respects. Anyway, the proper terminology she told me was uh, casket, not coffin. Coffin is reserved for like horror movies and Dracula movies. It's kind of macabre to call it a coffin. But that's just what these people are calling it. They're calling it a coffin, which, uh, which is not surprising. This is the way things are going now. But uh, you can ask around, ask your friendly mortician uh, what the proper terminology, I, I believe it's a casket. I mean, if you went into a funeral parlor and tried to buy a, a coffin, it'd probably correct you and say it's called a casket and please don't say coffin again. It's like, uh, what's the other word you can't say? Oh yeah, the boat. Don't call it a boat, it's a ship. Don't ever call it a boat again. It's a ship. It's not the top, it's the summit. Don't ever call it the top, it's a summit. I tell you, it's the summit. Okay, so I'm gonna close it out here, make my way to the entrance to this next surprise, and I hope uh, you enjoyed it. So those are the items of interest. These are the horses' asses, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Where's Ed, the talking horse, when you need him? God, if a horse started talking, how long would that horse be before they took it away? If I wanted a talking horse, I would have bought a parrot. <laughs>